Let's simplify this fraction 10 thirds. What we're trying to do is find another fraction that's equal to 10 over 3 and has the same value. It's just that we've simplified it or reduced it to lowest terms. So to do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 10 and 3 evenly. And we're looking for the greatest common factor. But the only factor that goes into 10 and 3, that's 1. You divide 10 by 1, you get 10. Divide 3 by 1, you get 3. That's 10 thirds, and that's what we started with. So the fraction 10 thirds, it's already reduced or simplified down to its lowest terms. You could convert this to a mixed number. Right now it's an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. To do that, you divide 3 into 10. So 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 times 3 is 9 with 1 left over. Bring the 3 across 10 thirds, the improper fraction. That equals a mixed number 3 and 1 third. But in answer to our original question, the fraction 10 thirds, it's in lowest terms already. We can't simplify this any further. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.